And, and then another thing for you too, though, because even let's say in the event that you do want to defend yourself, it's like they block off those alleys for you by taking you off Instagram, by taking you off these platforms. How do you how do you get around it? How are you able to speak your piece? Uh, I just got to keep going, man. I got some powerful people against me, man. And, you know, I don't hold my tongue. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> it don't matter how big uh, you is. If if you do something to me, like, take my Instagram, be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say, fuck you. <laughs> like, right. you know, like, that's me, man. That's just, that's just me. I don't, I don't hold back from people because... I feel like everybody's created equal. And um, that's how I was raised. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Wrong, right. And you know you're wrong, too. You know, like, you know, I, they take my Instagram, bro. If I got a movie coming out, that motherfucker getting took, bro. Tell me, like, a week before it. You Crazy. know, so I'm, I got to deal with that. I got to deal with. All kind of shit, bro. This life crazy, bro. But uh, it is what it is, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I thank God for people like you, though, because that's how I've lived my entire life. And there's really not that many left. You know, they say like there's there's the few real ones left. That's been going around going around forever. The saying, you know, the last real ones left, like the last of the Mohicans, last right? Dying breed. It's like I don't like the world the way it is today. Me neither. Because I can't say shit. You can't, you can't even be a real uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say it. Dude. Don't get me wrong. Comedians can't be comedians yeah. no more, bro. I mean, they're the last to actually say the most that they want. Because bro. It's, because it's a smile behind it. If you know Bernie I mean? Mac was here today, he'll be bad. Oh, yeah. My favorite comedian. He, like, bro, yeah. you can't. Hey, it's serious now, bro. Like, <laughs> People try to block you. That's why if you're gonna if you're gonna be able to say what you want to say, you gotta have your own lane, and that's what keep me alive. That's what keep me steady getting money because I, mean, I put out my own music. I put my movies on my own platform. Ain't nobody. I'm the I'm, I'm my boss. I check in to no one. Let's go. No one can fire me. Cause I'll be fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All office. my money come in to me. It's a hundred percent everything in it. And I gotta be like that because I'm a real person. I can't just sit back and let things go down and, and, and just be quiet about it a lot of times, especially with my black people. Um uh, and that's just boosted, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm no an open though, book, yeah. bro. Like, I, I don't go in the interviews and say, you can't ask this. You can't ask this. Yeah. You know, uh, and I just keep it real. And sometimes the, the real, a lot of people don't like the truth. The truth hurts. But he got so many people, many people in this world who every day, everywhere I go, boosted, don't change. You all we got, man, Boosie, <laughs> bro. Please, if, yeah. if 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 we ain't got you, bro, it's 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 over. Yeah, do it for us. Man. Yeah, do because you us. know a lot of people who don't have my platform wish they can say something, and they agree with what I say, especially older people. Yeah. So, uh, I'm 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 staying true to what I believe in. You know, uh, I'm just speaking my I, I I just speak the real and. Truth hurts. Truth hurts me Truth sometimes. Hell yeah. You know, my 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 auntie used to say, "All you want to do is see it, the you don't want." Yeah, man. The, the, yeah. Yeah, the truth definitely hurts. Yeah, you know when a woman tell you, you ain't shit. All you want to do is hang with your niggas all day. She like, damn, I do it. <laughs> got it right. Here. Got it right. Fuck. Damn. We'll clip that part out because I'm, you know, let me hang out. Nah, but but real shit though, it is tough because I'm somebody I'm. I'm, I'm afraid of signing one of these deals when people reach out to us trying to sign us because I don't want to change. And, I, and I'm not going to be good at it. You know what I mean? But you can't say this in that very episode after they tell me is probably when I'm going to say it. I don't like being told what to do. I've never <laughs> been good at that. I don't agree with certain shit. I got a son now. Uh, we, I, we talked about this a lot. I got a, a 17-month-old son. Okay. I got a daughter on the way. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm trying to make me another one now. <laughs> there you go. I think I'm gonna get a. I think I'm gonna get a surrogate. 
<laughs> I won't safe. get celebrated on Mother's Day and Father's Day. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good plan that's right there. Yeah. But I don't. I don't. I, I'm afraid. Like I, the only thing I could think of right now is that he's going to be homeschooled. Yeah. I don't want to put him in an area where they're like, no, there's actually more than two genders, and then he's got to, and they're going to try to convince him to believe this lie that isn't true. Right, right. You know what I mean? And that's up to a father to do that. You know, as a father, we got to be more hands-on. We got to be more hands-on with raising our kids and letting them know what's right. You know, uh, by the time they're 16, you got to be pushing people. You got to be pushing pussy on them. Mm. By the time they're 16, bro, you got to be... You know, when they 15 for you letting the girl, you got to start sending them to the movies with the girl, you know, <laughs> because, you know, if, if they, they going to get blinded by what they see in, on TV and and things like that. And uh, so you as dads, we got to be a part of that, right. because if we let them just watch what's, what's, what everybody sees, they will stray that way, you know, because just look at any movie you see. Yeah, the first five, make, 10 minutes. Yeah. The first five, ten minutes. Why it ain't no bitch getting hit from the back? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why it ain't a nigga and a woman tongue kissing head? Yeah. You know. And so we gotta as 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 fathers, we gotta we gotta help our kids with that because uh they will get blinded by what, what's being pushed. Yeah. It's scary. I don't know how to um you know, there's there's so much in how many kids you got? Eight. Eight kids, damn. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's just like I'm – I don't want to be in a situation where I'm the wrong one for doing it, right, because of being so vocal. And I'm asking you for advice right here. Yeah. Right? Like if it's frowned upon, if I'm the wrong guy, and it's like if everybody looks at, oh, you can't say that, how do you approach that situation? Because I'll be – I feel like it's immediately like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell my son exactly what the fuck I want. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I, I basically tell them, um, you know, um, you raise yours how you raise yours. I'm going to raise mine like I raise mine. And that's fair. Mm-hmm. Some people going to raise their kids different. Some people not. Some people whoop their kids. Some people don't. Some people send their kids in the corner. Some people get a belt. Some people tell them that they can choose whatever they, they want. Some dads going, no, you're going you to like pussy. Yeah, you know it's 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 different. It's, it, that's why I just parents have to be involved. For sure, you see what the world based on, man. So parents have to be involved, and uh, I think we need we need to try try hard as dads and and um, well, parenting all all together because if a mom's saying this and a dad's saying this, oh, man. <laughs> that's where it, yeah, that's not, where not it a comes confusion. to a to a head when. The mother doing this, and the mother and the son and the dad doing this. So you got to choose your baby mamas, right? Yeah, you yeah. got to, you know, nah, you got to. Go. That's a big, that's a big point in it too, and uh, and try to keep your kids in the same household, man. When you when you when your kid be staying over there, and mm-hmm. yeah, you had no. That's idea. when it become a problem, well, bro, a real problem. They bro. don't grow up with that bond like that. That's when it become know? a real problem, bro. Yeah. So and I, would, I, I would tell boys, all man. everybody, man, try to try to keep a stable household, man. Yeah, try word. to keep your, you know, they be rushing into divorces and shit. Try to try to hold it out for them kids, man. You know, I yeah. mean a lot holding it out for them kids. Cause right. once you separate, and this kid in Virginia and you in Washington D.C., uh, you a million miles away, it becomes problem. You can't yeah. raise your kid right if you're not on side of them. I don't care what you say. Yeah, and they got too many voices. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Too many goddamn movies. That's one thing for sure. I'm like, I'm about to order a, a VCR. <laughs> too, much of this, too much of this shit now, it really is in like 10 seconds. And they make the main character, the coolest character, the one they put the most highlight on is the gay guy. You know what I mean? It's just like too much. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. Like, I'd be, I be nervous about... Watching shit with my like everything my son watches right now, and I know he's young, but everything he watches, I'm watching with him. So as soon as I 
don't like the content that's being distributed, shut that shit off. You know what I mean? And, and that's what you told you. You have the right to do that. Yeah. You're his dad, not his friend. You're his dad. Yeah. Mm. A friend is going to let him watch whatever he want to watch. Let him do whatever he want to do. We got to be instill that fear that the dad always had in the community. I know coming up, most if your dad was there, that's who you feared. Mom, but you knew your dad was gonna beat your ass. You knew your uh -huh. dad. You gotta, we gotta, dads gotta instill that fear in their kids and, and their respect. And uh, that's how I feel about a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Women, women gotta, women and men, we gotta, we gotta get together and do better for our kids, man. Yeah. Yeah. In the same way. We came up in life, whatever you didn't learn in the house, where do you learn it from, right? You're going to pick it up in the streets or from somebody else that maybe you as a father didn't want them to learn that from them. Right. So you got to you know? be, you got to be hands, bro. <laughs> That's why you got to be hands on with these kids, bro, yeah. because they're going to learn from the streets. They're going to learn from somebody who's going to teach them wrong. You know, uh, they got their best interests. We got to be hands-on with, with our kids, man. That's how I feel.